I'm here with someone that you may know of, um, Mr. Sandex himself. Congratulations, by the way, on your 101st uh, competition. Oh, thank you. It's um, amazing to be in the dog. <laughs> hey, I've got a quick trivia question for you. Do you remember your 50th comp? Oh. Was your 50th comp um, the cupcake? <laughs> cupcake cubing. <laughs> yeah, cupcake. No, that was, that was, was 2013. Was it, was it cupcake cubing? No. Was it uh, a Melbourne Cube Day? Was it a Canberra Autumn? Ooh. Or was it uh, a, a Nationals? Aussie Nationals? Um, I don't think it was Aussie Nationals. I feel like I would have remembered that. I'm gonna say Canberra Autumn. Your final answer. There's like 50-50 chance, and that's your final that's answer. My, that's my final answer. Uh, by Canberra Autumn, did you actually mean Melbourne Cube uh, Day? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, you're correct. Yeah, well yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and you'll be cubing till you die. Of course. Yeah, good. Of course. <laughs> Day just waiting. That's okay. Bye, have fun. It may seem like that's not my average time, but actually I usually get 19s and I never get sub 10. It's not terrible. That's the title of today. It's not terrible. It was episode two of Not Terrible. I got a 13 and she got a 9. Uh, so I averaged 10, 11, 12, which is about probably 11. And you averaged 12. I just beat you. I got 10 counting 9 and you got 0 counting 9. I can't believe you got 2 counting 9. That's amazing. I know. What would you say to people who are like maybe wanting to come but they're just like a bit worried or like, you know, like that's time. Just do it. Just do it. Nerves are nerves. You may as well do it first time. Then you understand what's going to happen next time. And you go to another comp and do better than you did this time. Just try and beat your current PB. So good. Poor delegates. It's a tough life. Not terrible. Episode 3. Solve time. When I slammed it down. Good job, Comps are pretty cool when records are broken, and this guy just did it. Woo! Could you feel like it was coming? Uh, I knew, like, I'd run my average frequent one, and those the other frequent one. But in competition, yeah. I always got my frequent like this. But yeah. then, but the counting two is really good. The counting two is pretty great. Yeah. Uh, do you want to apologize to Jay McNeil? I'm pretty sure he thinks about that record every day. Okay, so you should probably say you're welcome to Jay. Awesome, well done. Yes, and how'd you go for four? Your previous best was like two minutes. Yeah. And I also got a 152, which is really good because they're both sub two. Well done. High five. The pressure is on me now. <laughs> so Wisdom. She's actually wrong. It's about getting great times. myself in the strange situation of having my daughter as my judge. 
In the blind cell, both of us have to close our eyes. getting a blind in at the end I went really safe so that I would succeed. I actually made like an error in my second one and managed to like backtrack and correct it which is like cool. And then for my third one it was a bit of a tough scramble. I would have gotten my first ever average in my fault which is quite difficult. It's alright I'll save it for another comp. Yeah we'll save the good feeling for another comp. <laughs> I'll get you yeah blindfold me I'll get you you can run, but you can't hide. What are you even doing? So Ola and I got to sit next together for a pyramid solve, which was how we sat in our very, very first solve in any cubing comp ever. Yeah. History repeated itself. That was really cool. It was also really fun meeting a lot of new people and a lot of old friends. That was really cool. Did you make a new friend today? Debbie. Yeah. She's the organizer of this competition. She was so friendly and nice, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah, you're awesome, Debbie. Well, thanks for watching. Happy cubing. Bye. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Sorry. I